so his eye is completely dry and it looks great to me I don't think I need to add anything to it um, sometimes that indigo looks really intense when you put it down and then when it dries it's not as intense so if you have a lighter shading um, that's okay just go back into it and add some shadow where you need to it's always better like I said to go a little lighter and then you can always increase it so now what we're going to work on are his legs. Um, we're going to add some shadow to this tree just a bit. Um, and then the final thing we'll do is come back and add some feather shapes into his wings here. And this little guy will be complete. So let's start on his legs. So for this process, I'm actually going to use the red maybe a bit of the indigo and some orange as well so it's going to be kind of a muddy color which is really what i'm going for so what do i want to start with i think i'll start with the red so i'm not wetting the area first i don't even really have that much water on my brush this is such a small area so you don't want to get it too wet um, and we can always come back and add detail as well as well so really just trying to get a, a layer of paint on here so I've got the red and I'm gonna add some orange now I'm really just dotting that orange in and now I'm gonna come into the indigo and start dotting that in as well almost like a shadow color it might look a little intense when you put it on um, but remember it dries lighter so we, we kind of want this to be a bit of a muddy color because the red and the indigo will make a bit of a purple and if you add orange to purple it makes mud <laughs> so just adding a few more hints of color here and there I want to make sure that the areas that are in shadow have a little more indigo not we don't want to add too much detail I don't want those to stand out too much so to this other one same process I'm adding red first Now I'll drop in the orange, drop in some indigo, And we'll let those dry and see how they turn out and then we'll work on the tree okay for the tree part pretty simple we're not going to go um, too intense we're going to keep this um, really light so I've grabbed a mid-size brush this is a five and I'm going to apply water right next to his little footsie here and a couple of other places where I would want there to be shadow so I'm not filling in the whole branch just some areas where I want to add a little color and the color I'm going to do is a bit of indigo and a bit of red and you can see how light and watery I'm making this because I don't want it to be intense really just some slight slight shadow And you really could, um, I could even add orange to this, I think I will, to almost give it that brownish tone, but a much, much lighter variation of it. So same thing throughout the whole 
um, branch here. So as I come up here, I'll do less and less, and I'll also use a smaller brush. I just want there to be a little shadow right next to his little footsies. So dropping down to a smaller brush and I'll just continue this process of adding a little color, a little shadow. Okay, I think the shadow is perfect and now we can work on adding just a few details to his wings and this little birdie will be all finished.